Hi, my name is Dawn Hetty, and I'm a Senior Technical Solution Architect with Saline Consulting. Today I want to share with you a new feature of FileMaker Pro Advanced 17. That feature is Default Fields. So I'm going to open up FileMaker Pro Advanced 17, and I think I'm going to create a new solution, and I'll start with one of the sample files um, about meetings. And I'll just save it out to my desktop. Okay, so I have a nice little lightweight application here called Meetings. And we've got a couple of layouts. But let's say that I want to add a new table. I'm going to go into File Manage Database. And you can see that I have three tables so far. Let's say that I'm going to add a new table, and I'll just call it Test. Here's the default field feature. When you ever you create a table, FileMaker is automatically going to create these five fields for you. And they have quite a bit turned on for you. So for example, I've got a primary key field and I've got a comment telling me that it's unique. There are some different option settings. Like for example, it's going to automatically set this to the calculated uh, get UUID. It's going to prohibit modification and it's already set for minimal indexing. Creation timestamp is already set to auto enter the creation timestamp. This is nice. This is a nice group of fields. What happens if I if I'd really rather FileMaker not do this? So let me show you that first. I'm going to keep FileMaker open and I'm just going to move this out of the way. These default fields are defined inside the FileMaker application package, but FileMaker has also made it possible for us to customize that list. And the first thing we could do is customize it to just say nothing. I don't want any fields at all to be created. First, let me show you where that path is. This is the name of the file. It's called defaultfields.xml. And we've got the path here for if it's a Mac and if it's Windows. If it's Windows, we're going to go to whatever the drive is, Program Data, and don't mix that up with App Data. Program Data, FileMaker, Shared. Inside there, we're going to put this file. We're going to go to User, Shared, FileMaker, Shared. Let me just open up the hard drive. Here's my user folder. If I go inside there, I'm not going to go inside my own user account. Instead, I'm going to go inside the Shared folder that's there. There'll be a folder for any applications that might use this sharing. So here's the FileMaker folder. Now this part's a little confusing. You might actually have a folder here for FileMaker Pro Advanced. Don't worry about that. Look at the shared one, which is shared across all FileMaker applications. And it'll be empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little text file. Here, I'm just going to make a blank file. I'm going to make it plain text. And I'm going to save it on my desktop and call it default fields. That XML. I'm just going to save it out there to my desktop for now. Close that file, and let's go back here. I've got my default fields. It's XML. I'm going to share it into that location I already opened. So I'm in my user, shared, FileMaker, shared, default fields. Now, notice I didn't even close FileMaker. I'm going to, again, go into File Manage Database. Okay, so now I'm going to create that table again. Remember that last time when I did start, we created the test table, I canceled it, so it didn't actually create it. So let me type test again, and we'll create the table and check what fields were automatically added. So this time, no fields were added because we've now set a custom preference with an empty default fields file, so therefore it creates no fields. If you found this video useful, 
check out my next Client TV offering entitled Customizing Default Fields. In that video, I'll show you how to not just make it where it makes no fields, but instead makes the fields that match your naming convention and maybe even customize it on the fly for different projects. So thank you. Have a great day.